Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter. These are the big names that you think about when you think about social media marketing. But what about Pinterest? Hmm, did you know that you can make money from Pinterest? I'm Khalilo Reynolds and this is Money Moves JA, brought to you in partnership with Exim Bank's Business Advisory Service. Keep watching to find out more. So I'm joined now by Kareem Little. He's a Pinterest marketing coach. Hi, Kareem. Hi, Khalilo. What's up? I'm good. So typically we hear, you know, the big ones, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, to a lesser extent, Mm -hmm. LinkedIn as well. We don't often hear about Pinterest in terms of marketing. So how can I make money from Pinterest? Well, that's actually a common misconception that I get where persons come to me and they say, hey, I want to make money on Pinterest. But it's not a case where you make money on Pinterest, but you're making money from Pinterest traffic. So for someone who has a YouTube channel or an Instagram page or a blog or any kind of website, you can drive traffic, send persons from Pinterest to that website, and that is where you would make the money from. All right. So explain a little bit more how how this works. So what Pinterest is really, it's not really social media, even though it does have social media aspects to it it's more of a visual search engine. Right. I always, I always describe it as, say, a fancy, dumbed-down version of Google. Hmm. So persons go on there and they search for just about anything. So if I want to find a motivational book, I'll just head to Pinterest and I type in motivational book. Mm-hmm. Now, you, as the business or the brand, if you have a book selling, you could list your book by simply creating a pin so that someone who visits Pinterest searching for books is able to see your link, click on it, and they are taken directly to wherever you want them to be taken. So let's say you are selling your book on Amazon. You could create a pin that drives them directly to Amazon so they can purchase your book. How popular is Pinterest in comparison to these other types of sites that I described? Well, Pinterest is actually the third largest search engine. Oh. However, if you're talking about comparing it to social media like, say, Instagram and so forth, while it does get tons of traffic, it's probably less than half the size of Instagram because we're talking about over 200, over 300 as of this year, million visitors and users, whereas Instagram has over... 500 or even a billion by now okay so Karim I feel like this needs a demonstration like especially for people who aren't familiar with what Pinterest is how it looks and how it works walk me through it let me see how this works now okay no problem so let's say you're looking for a motivational book or even how to do your own DIY project then let's say how to do a DIY and here you're seeing a lot of options these are all long tail keywords that persons are searching for Mm -hmm. so let's say a DIY wedding right and here is all the pins and I could scroll for probably hours or days where you're seeing pins of brands and businesses showing you stuff that you need and all the stuff as it relates to doing a DIY wedding. So Mm -hmm. here this pin says how to do DIY wedding where flowers is concerned, right? Mm -hmm. And what businesses actually do is if I scroll to the top here, you see these pins at the top that actually have a figure in terms of number dollar figure beside it. Mm -hmm. these are what you call product pins where you list the item on Pinterest and a user can actually come search for it and make the purchase directly from inside Pinterest. Mm. Make the, you can purchase something from inside Pinterest, you said? Exactly. And then 
Even if, you're, even if you're a Jamaican, you can list your product for, for sale on Pinterest, even from here in Jamaica? Well, yes, it is possible. It's a bit more technical because Pinterest does not support Jamaica as a country to do ads and a lot of the stuff like that being Jamaica is a bit behind in terms of third world. But there are workaways around it so you can list your products on Pinterest if you own just about any business. And let's say the simplest business you can find is a jewelry store. So let's search for jewelry accessories. And here you find tons of items, different price ranges, right? And if I hit the shop button, here you're only finding product pins. So stuff from as cheap as $10 to, I mean, $395. And to make it even more interesting, let's say I want to buy a wedding dress on Pinterest. Mm -hmm. I could easily hit that shop button and here you're seeing wedding dresses at different prices and I could just jump in and make the purchase. Right there on Pinterest. Right here. So I, I didn't realize that you could actually shop within Pinterest. I've used it once or twice. Ironically, when I was doing, planning my wedding as well, pinning various items from and creating boards but I didn't know that you could buy directly in the app. And it's also an app and a website, right? Yeah, that's correct. And what I normally tell persons is that when you're just starting out, Pinterest is the place to be for your business or brand. You don't need to worry about Instagram or Facebook or LinkedIn just yet because Pinterest traffic literally goes everywhere you send it. It's free. And let's say I make a post on Facebook I could actually put that Facebook link inside of a pin, attach it to the pin, so that persons can move from Pinterest to Facebook to see that Facebook post. Okay. If I want to build an... You're going to have to give me another demonstration, Kareem. <laughs> Share your screen again and show me exactly how you did what you just said. Let's say I want to create an email list, right? I would first design a pin and you can create a pin in a matter of say two minutes or less. So I'm going to walk you through the process right now. Your dimensions just need to be, let's say 600 by 900, right? What app is this that you're using now? So this app is Affinity Designer. It's available on iPad and Mac OS. I think it's available on Windows as well. Mm -hmm. So. So you're just creating the artwork right now. Right. I'm just creating a pin. Let's okay. say, uh, so you don't join my email. Use, you don't necessarily have to use this app. You can use something else like no. Canva. Or... Exactly. In fact, Canva has tons of templates you could use to, you know, build different pins. So right. Canva is one of the best places to use. Let's say how to build an email list because this is something that a lot of businesses would need so an email list and then i'll just head here make a few adjustments to this now this is not an example of the perfect pin we're just using this for a demonstration as to how pinterest would work right you want to use a large text so that persons who are scrolling by can easily see it. And you want to make sure you're using a high quality image. So you can use websites like Unsplash, Pixels, or even Pixabay, and you pull an image directly from there. Here I'm pulling an image, and now it's just about setting that image exactly where you want it to be. And then I just head here, place it behind all this text. I could go. This is fine. So let's, there we go. And then I'll just save this now. And then we're opening Pinterest and we're creating this pin. Mm -hmm. So here you have a pin. It's a simple pin, nothing extravagant or anything. I hit next and here you give it a title. And my title will be build your email list ensuring you're using keywords which are still from this image right here. So here you have email list, build and build an email list. So I'm using that right here. Then you'd add a description, how to build your email list using Pinterest. And then 
this section is the most important part that says destination website. You can attach any website you want to attach right here. So I could go in and I could say patreon.com forward slash marketing with Kareem. And then I'd hit go and instantly it loads up that website so that persons can click on this pin and it's they're taken are taken straight here. Mm -hmm. Now, once you click add link, then you see destination website added. I could easily change this and say... Do it to Facebook since that's very popular. Facebook.com. And you would use your Facebook account right here, that link to the exact Facebook post or whatever it is you want it to be. I could use medium.com. And once I add this link, it takes them straight here. So okay, you can... So when they're on, when they're on Pinterest and they click on that pin, it takes them to your website. Exactly. And it okay. doesn't have to be your website. It could be a website that you want to send traffic to. So let's say I'm watching a YouTube video and I like it and I want to share it. I could hit youtube.com and take them straight there. What's important is you have the correct destination link. Mm. If you don't have a link, then there's no way to really drive the traffic. Mm. So this is interesting. I, I had no idea that this is something that you, this is actually how it works. So now I'm feeling that I need to go on Pinterest and create a, a link to this video saying how to use Pinterest. <laughs> Yes, that, that is and definitely link something link you could do. Link it to the do. YouTube channel. Right. That's pretty cool. And you said Pinterest has, Pinterest is the third most used search engine. Right. So you're talking about second to persons like Google and Yahoo and Bing. In fact, Pinterest has a higher rating than Bing. And when it comes to social media, if you want to consider Pinterest a social media, you would be Facebook, which would include Instagram and WhatsApp. And then Pinterest would actually be right there. So Pinterest is the place for all businesses to be. And it doesn't matter what type of business you do, as long as you plan to go online, especially in this COVID crisis, Pinterest is the place to start. So that linking element that you just showed me, that means that even though you said it's difficult to, you know, you can't really sell directly from Jamaica, because of whatever restrictions there are through Pinterest, that overcomes that problem because you can link something directly to your website where your item is for sale. It does. And I have done that personally myself where I do print on demand. And instead of linking all of that stuff to Pinterest directly, I use that destination link of print full or printify and connect that to the Pinterest pin so that when persons click on it, they're heading straight to that website where they can make the purchase. Mm -hmm. And just to be clear, Pinterest is free, right? It, it's totally free and you can drive tons. And when I say tons, we're talking about thousands of persons in terms of organic traffic for free mm. right does it work like other types of social media where you have to use the hashtags and how do you get your stuff found on pinterest well getting found on pinterest is really simple and it's really a two-step process so you need successful seo you That's need search engine optimization right and you need to have an really or let's say a successful pin a viral pin so pin design and SEO keywords, those are the only two things you need to master to become an expert at Pinterest. And how do you do that? Well, to start, Pinterest actually gives you all the SEO terms you need once you type it in. So let's say, again, you were searching for email marketing. Everything that you would see related to email marketing are all those keywords that you would need to build your brand around. Um, they also allow you to optimize your profile where you add keywords to your board descriptions, to your pins, and even on the pin itself, because Pinterest actually has a visual search engine algorithm where it reads the information of the image and allows you to search that way. So it's really about using the right keywords and having the right pin design, and that is something I teach. Mm -hmm. 
Is this also ideal for affiliate marketing? <laughs> Funny enough, uh, about two weeks ago, I got a client who was solely interested in using Pinterest for affiliate marketing. And off the top of my head, I, I just said to her, well, create a website that you would list all your products on. So all those affiliate products, those links, put them on that website. And then each of those products, you create five pins for that and put those pins on Pinterest. So you'd be driving all the traffic from Pinterest to your affiliate website. And the funny thing about Pinterest traffic is, unlike Instagram and Facebook, where your post, it dies after a couple of hours or a couple of days. When you make a pin on Pinterest, the minimum time it lasts is at least three to four months. Wow. So if I pin something today, like what I just did, persons would be seeing it for the next three, four months. So if it's not viral this month, maybe it becomes viral next month or the month after. Interesting stuff, Kareem. I had no idea all of this was going on there on Pinterest. It just seemed like a random place to collect stuff <laughs> and make your little pretty boards and whatnot. And it and is a place share, for inspiration. It, it is a place for inspiration. And you can share your boards and your, your pins and your interests as well, right? Right, that, that is correct. All right, Kareem, so how can people reach you since you seem to know quite a bit about this? If anybody wants to, to find out how they can strategize some more, how can they link you? Well, firstly, I teach all of this on Instagram at Marketing with Kareem. So if you head over to my Instagram and you just hit the follow button, then, I mean, you don't even have to hit the follow button. You would see all the content that I post daily as it relates to how to grow your Pinterest successfully and monetize Pinterest traffic. Awesome stuff. Thanks again, Kareem. That's it for this episode of Money Moves JA, brought to you in partnership with Exim Bank's business advisory service. Check out their website, eximbankja.com. Also remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel, like so that YouTube shows this video to more people. And if you found anything useful in it, share it with a friend. Also turn on those post notifications and follow me over on Instagram at Kalila Ray. I'm Kalila Reynolds. Stay safe, guys.